Just wanted to share something very valuable that I learned in my self-development journey. Now this message is aimed mainly towards the younger audience. Um, before I even begin, I just wanna say I apologize in advance if I do sound a little scatterbrained, if I sound a little off or a little off track. I'm not gonna lie, I am very tired. I only got like one hour of sleep last night. I spent the entire morning trying to help my friend out. He was out stranded with a flat tire and we had to call a AAA and you know how that is, man. Those those drivers travel all across the world before they get to you. But um, yeah, so as I'm trying to conjure up these thoughts, my body is slowly drifting away to sleep. So bear with me. Um, you want to reach a certain mindset. You want to reach a certain point in life where you no longer have to prove anything to anybody else. You no longer have to speak about how great you are. Or you no longer have to speak about, you know, all the great things you do or how good you are. You no longer have to be braggadocious. You want to reach a point where people are just speaking for you. And why do I say this? Because when we're young, right, a lot of us feel like we have something to prove. And I just want to let you know right now, young man, you have nothing to prove to anybody. If anything, if there's anyone that you have to prove something to, that's yourself. You have to prove to yourself that you are a better version of what you were yesterday. You have to prove to yourself that you can do the things that you never thought you could do. You have to prove to yourself everything. You're the only person you have to prove anything to. Anybody else's opinion is irrelevant because you're not living for anybody else. You're living for yourself, right? So when it comes to developing self-confidence, developing uh, self-image, developing a just a... Uh, high self-esteem right that's gonna come with time that's gonna come with growth that's gonna come with pain and it's also gonna come with it's also gonna come with uh being able to actually because it's one thing it's one thing to go through something and not take anything away from it. But it's another thing to go through a situation and actually use that situation as a positive and use it to to your advantage. Use it as a positive, not to repeat myself. But you have to like, you have to be so confident within yourself, so confident within your ability that Nothing anybody can say can torment you. That's the level you want to be at. That's the mindset you want to be at. Because it's not about proving anything to anybody else. It's not about that. It's not about that. You, when you... This is what happens when you are braggadocious. This is what happens when you speak so highly about yourself. When it comes to put your money, when it comes time to put your money where your mouth is and your actions or your, your words rather look a little thin and your actions look a little smaller than your words, then you're going to you're going to look foolish and people are going to look at you differently and people are not going to take you serious and people are going to start to question you. So my best advice to you is this is just how I operate. This is how my brain works. This is just how my brain is wired. Like I've been this way since I was a kid. I don't ever speak about myself. I don't even like speaking about myself in conversations. Like when somebody is having a conversation with me, I don't feel obligated to bring my life up. I don't feel obligated to bring anything about me up because like to me, it's just not about me. Don't get me wrong. I love myself. I love uh I love my life. I love sharing things with people, but it's not always about me. 
But I digress. This is about just developing a self-image, developing self-confidence. Like, you don't need to speak for yourself at a certain point. Like, yeah, there's going to be that beginning stage where you have to make that impression on people. And how do you do that? How do I do that? I put in 100% effort no matter what I do. I greet people with manners. I have morals. I have integrity. I show respect even when it's not even even when it's not earned at some, you know, from some people. And 90% of the time there's a mutual respect being built. And that individual that individual knows me and can speak for me because that individual has seen me and, and that individual knows how I operate and they know I don't bullshit and they know I don't mess around so when somebody is gonna try to slander your name or exploit you don't worry. Don't get so caught up in trying to prove people wrong or prove people right. Let actions speak louder than words. Let other people speak for you. Right? And I'm not saying this is effective and this is relevant for every single situation. Like, of course, if, if you were, if you had an allegation on you and it was like a rape allegation, then yeah, in that case, you would want to speak for yourself and you would want to represent yourself and try to, you know, do whatever it is that you can to get yourself out of that situation. But I'm talking about for everyday things, whether it's work gossip, whether it's just you know, little petty green shit that people say behind your back, whether it's just fake friends and, you know, people talking behind your back and whatnot, just little things like that, little things you go through every day, like those type of things. Don't feel the need to s prove your worth to anybody. Don't feel the need to prove how great you are. Don't feel the need to prove how good you are. It's, it's, it's not that deep. It's not even a big deal. You, you should already have instilled in you. You should already have it instilled in you. Like, yo, I have this confidence. I have this, this, this love, this internal love from within. And there's not a damn thing that anybody can do to take that away from me. And you should have it instilled within you already. And you should know, you should overstand that you have a gift because everybody's brought here with a gift, right? And it takes time for people to find their gift. So it's not, it's not right for you to brag about your gift. It's not right for you to talk about your gift and be, and be, and, and just be so selfish and, and try to show off your gift with the intention of making others feel like they don't have a gift. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like trying to speak for yourself in a toxic way when you're putting, in a way where you're putting others down, you're making others feel inferior. And at the same time, what you're saying, it, it some people like what some people not even some people, a lot of people, when they talk about themselves, it's not even true. Like, you ever notice that? Like, from the outside looking in, you've all seen that person that just nonstop is just talking about themselves, talking about their life, talking about how great they are, how, you like, you know, you already know deep down, like, that person is just lying straight through their teeth. <laughs> like that person that person's just insecure that person just needs external validation 
because that person lacks internal confidence and that per person lacks the just just the internal validation you know i apologize y'all i'm really tired so i'm trying to convey this message the best way i can i hope you're able to resonate and follow what i'm saying so far just look at it like this right if you were to see yourself in third person let's say you approach yourself and you heard yourself say this yo what's up man like i'm freaking awesome i'm the best i'm so good looking oh like dude like i'm the freaking man like you won't go a block <laughs> you won't walk a block on these streets without hearing my name like just imagine hearing that from yourself in third person imagine like seeing yourself say that isn't that cringy isn't that like just so like it's just so arrogant and it makes you just look so weak and insecure because somebody who's truly confident, somebody who truly knows how great they are, they don't speak about how great they are. They don't talk about how great they are. You don't see, like, and this is what I'm trying to reiterate. This is the point I'm trying to reiterate. Like, the greatest people, the greatest people at their profession, the top of the top, the top of their game at whatever they do, at, at whatever profession, those people do not Yes, th there's there's some there's some that slip through the cracks. You know, you have your Floyd Mayweather's and you have your, you know, those arrogant guys that, yeah, they'll they'll, they'll talk about themselves because that's just how their personality is. But most successful people do not talk about how great they are. They don't. They let others do it for them because they have nothing to prove. And that's. That's what I want you to reach. That's the mindset that I want you to reach. That's what I want you to realize. That's what I want you to overstand. It's not about trying to fit in. It's not about trying to prove your worth. It's not about trying to earn people's validation and earn people's trust. And, you know, it's not about that. Because at the end, you're only going to lose yourself trying to please so many people around you so it's best to work on your craft in silent work in the dark and eventually everything that you've done in the dark all the work that you've been doing all the it's going to be brought to light and, it, and people are going to see that and it's going to reflect through your character it's going to reflect through your aura it's going to reflect through everything and you no longer have to speak for yourself you know how great it feels you know how great it feels to 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 walk a diligent walk protected guided knowing deep down that even if you do something wrong you are not worried because you know that People will speak for you. And not only that, you're protected. And a lot of the good you did outweighs the bad. You know what I mean? And it just, if it's a good feeling, bro. It's a good feeling knowing that you don't have to prove anything to anybody. You don't have to walk around trying to talk yourself up to people. It's a great feeling knowing you don't have to do that. It's very liberating. And it's even more liberating when people when other people do it for you. And it's not intentional. I don't want to make like I don't want you to intentionally do this so that people can start speaking for you. Like this this is something you need to develop through time. This is something you need to develop through experience. And you need to just 
build respect with others. That way, when others see you going through your rough situation, when others see you going through something bad, they can lift you up. They can speak for you because they know all the good you've done for them in the past. You know what I mean? So that's how it all comes in full circle. When you're humble, when you keep to yourself, when you don't brag about how great you are, other people will notice that. Trust me, other people will see that and other people will really admire that and they will really they'll really appreciate that for real cuz nobody likes a a braggadocious self self selfish arrogant person who just is just all about me 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 like nobody likes that so when you when you just come off as the complete opposite and you're very outgoing and you're very likable bro people are going to remember you forever people are going to remember you forever trust me trust me but that's all I have for today's video. I'm going to try to get some sleep. Um, I hope you were able to learn something. I hope you were able to resonate with my message. Again, take this advice. Take it or leave it. Um, this is just what I've learned based off of my experiences, based off of what I've been through. Um, and I honestly believe, like, actions speak louder than words. When you are giving 100% effort every day and you approach people with manners and you're, you have morals and integrity, you don't need to speak for yourself, trust me. It should already be instilled within. You should already know within that you have that gift because God brought us all here with a gift. All of us have a gift unique to us. You just gotta unlock it and find it. So with all that being said, if you guys left this video motivated, inspired, or a better person, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.